Hi, uh, we're going to look at the perspective tool in this video and we're going to use this uh, image here and what you can see is it's not straight at the moment anyway so that will be our first uh, effort but also it's, it's gliding away down here at a, at a slightly different angle. Now what we'll do is we'll use the crop tool with the straighten option and what I'm interested in is getting this part of the dome straight first. Now I'm a little bit worried these columns might be slightly tapered so I'm going to take the straightness from the corners of the dome. Let's just take that and I'll straighten it up. That's nice. Um, now I'll just bring the crop in a little bit and bring it in from the bottom. There we go. We'll accept that. But as you can see, this part of the balustrade is tapering away, which gives it a little bit of an odd feeling. Now, if I pick the perspective tool, you'll see that the area of the picture is actually the original, original size. It just makes it a little bit more difficult to manipulate. So I'll cancel that. And what we'll do is right click on the image and say rasterize and trim. Now when I pick the perspective tool we've got the the square that you'd expect because the image is now cropped to within the uh, drawing document frame. Now what you do is, and I'll exaggerate here, you pick up any corner and you can start moving it, moving it up and down, moving it around. So it's quite quite uh, versatile, but like anything, it's better if you do things very gradually. Now I can move that, but it's quite difficult to see where the grid is. So let's just turn the grid on the actual uh, command itself but it moves with the image. What can be more useful is to turn that grid off and in view turn on the grid, it's the main grid. And that way that this will actually stay in position and it's much easier to line up your edges to the, to the true grid. Okay, so I can take that and just move that up. And what I need to do is just quickly look here and you can see that by moving this edge up, this edge has gone up as well. So I can compensate by bringing this edge up slightly until it matches again. Have another look here, just check it's still tapered out a little bit so I need to move that up a little bit more and that looks about right there we go double check yeah it's still it's gone a little bit lower here again compared to the other side so I'll just drag that up slightly and when I'm happy I can actually do a split view so I can do a before and after. So basically there's the new position and that's where it originally was and I can just scan across and just move that around. Okay so I can apply that. Another way of doing it if I take that one back you've got another option it's probably not as pertinent to this particular image but we've been doing it in a single plane you can use dual plane and this is generally more useful where you've taken a photo of a corner of a building and you've got the two sides of the building moving away from you and it's sort of a little bit like that here um, so I can do a, a very similar thing so if I just zoom up, take that handle and just start moving that up and you can see it's changing the perspective there 
but it's only doing it on half the building. So from here we can just move up slightly a little bit more that's about it and it hasn't moved this corner here which is gives you a little bit more control so we can apply that now obviously now I've done that I can turn the uh, grid off Right, pick the right one, turn the grid off, there we go, and I can crop back in or I can fill the edges in. So we'll, we'll just crop in, and what I'll do is I'll take that to uh, just under there, so I don't want this part of um, the shop or whatever it might be down there, and bring this corner in and drop it down inside the photo. Right. And there we go so we've got a much straighter building where you can start to now work on your adjustments itself so again at the end I would rasterize and trim uh, just to make sure that uh, all the edges are uh, in the frame thank you